Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So in this video, I wanted to touch upon a bit of the topic that I started discussing in the last video about DRNAs and anesthesiologists and what the major differences would be. We'll touch on that topic and specifically address some of the concerns and issues that were brought up in the comments after that video was posted. So in the healthcare system, we are all collaborators working together with a common goal of safe and quality patient care. Stay tuned. So I just wanted to touch on some of the topics that came up as issues of contention in the comments after my last video. So first and foremost, the point of the last video or my intended goal with the last video was to encourage those of you out there that are aspiring to pursue careers in anesthesia as anesthesiologists and going into medical school to pursue anesthesiology. I wanted to encourage you because a lot of my questions and interactions with prospective resident candidates have been met with that question. Do you think this field is going to be around by the time I'm done? Or do you think that there's going to be any chance that anesthesiology will become obsolete? The reason why I decided to create the last video was to kind of encourage those of you out there who might be also met with the same worries. So when I first created this channel, my goal was to get out there and encourage people who were pursuing anesthesiology and needed some type of uh, guidance or motivation to go forth with their dreams. So being a physician anesthesiologist, I'm partial to encouraging people to pursue that path. But there are different paths and different roads that will lead to the equally rewarding outcome of being able to deliver anesthesia to patients. So much like in other fields, in um, ophthalmology, you have optometrists, and in other areas we have nurse practitioners and family practice doctors, internists, you know, in the field of medicine, we just have so many different members of the team and we're all here working together to fill the need. As you know, our population is vast and growing and the need for healthcare is also doing the same. And we're all a part of this one large ecosystem in healthcare. All of us working together, all of us needing each other to get to that common goal of a high quality, and save patient outcomes. I really think it's counterproductive to be at odds and ends about it because at the end of it all, we're all here doing the same thing. We're all equally important to this goal. The collaborative nature of the healthcare team has become so apparent with our current pandemic. Nurses, clerks, doctors, and other important hospital staff all came together without question and without hesitation to prioritize the patient. Everyone went above and beyond their usual roles and responsibilities. And we would not be able to practice in anesthesia without the same mentality. We would not be able to practice safe medicine without each other. No one member of the anesthesia care team more important than the other. In my practice, I've definitely been saved by CRNAs and vice versa. So we all have to just remember that we're here for the same common purpose and hopefully we can continue to work together and in areas that we don't work together, hopefully we can still support each other. And with that, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And for those of you who are strongly considering pursuing the path of becoming a CRNA, I'm going to feature in an upcoming video, a nurse anesthetist that I work with and she will hopefully answer some of your questions regarding training and work-life balance so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys next time please stay safe and take care of yourself and as usual 